well-dressed couples came in and start shooting up the ceiling. And immediately a uh, gun battle started between the guards on the outside and the terrorists who had rushed in through the door. Uh, I surprised myself by my reflexes. I quickly took a dive trying to get under a sofa near the windows and I was being sprinkled with glass as the bullets were coming through it. To me it felt like the start of World War III. Uh, it probably didn't last all that long but I really calculated that maybe 100, 200 rounds were expended in a very short period of time. Commander One, the leader of the M19 uh, group, read us his negotiating instructions. And they were sort of a Marxist screed, written in very belligerent terms, uh, very uh, nasty toward not only the government, but the president and the president's mother and everybody else that they didn't like. And I took him aside after he read this to the assembled hostages and I said you know you really can't go into a negotiation with the Colombian government with those instructions and he said what do you mean I said well they're gonna say you're a savage someone who can only be dealt with by force and they're gonna come in here and shoot you now ordinarily I wouldn't mind I might even applaud but since you've said that if anything goes wrong I get shot first I would prefer almost any other alternative And he said, well, can you do better? And I said, hey, this is what I do for a living. I'm a negotiator. I can take exactly the same points you're trying to make and put them in language that's acceptable to the other side. And he looked at me and said, give me a draft. And that's how we began to intrude ourselves into the negotiating process. One of the more excruciating moments of my captivity were caused by a former Tupamaro Uruguayan terrorist, Omar, who obviously uh, didn't think much of the United States or of me. And he used me as a shield, made me kneel at the uh, uh, windowsill and shot at them from the vicinity of my uh, right kneecap. My uh, Brazilian colleague, uh, Geraldo Nascimento e Silva, great Brazilian uh, ambassador, who took him aside and said, you know, all ambassadors obviously are equal, but also obviously some are more important than others. I would consider the American ambassador to be a real ace in a hole, someone who should be conserved for use at a particularly crucial moment. So why don't you use one of the Central American ambassadors the next time you want to try that? I've always appreciated the sense of humor. Este es el ritmo de cumbia, cumbia loca pa' gozar. Ay, qué cumbia tan loca.